Well, welcome everybody. This is the uh, Pastel River Stone. Uh, once again, I'm uh, following the uh, instructions of uh, Stone Coat Countertops. Uh, great folks. Um, and I'm still not using their product yet. Uh, so, uh, once again, I'm pouring a uh, a uh, six ounce uh, or six ounces of epoxy for this uh, 26 by 17 uh, uh, board. The uh, I'll be, you know, again, my, my stirring is is the way I stir. You know, I I I I make sure I scrape the edges. I mix from the down from the edge and bring it in towards the center. I want to make sure that I've got all of the, uh, you know. The, the epoxy mixed if not you'll get soft spots uh, happy to report that I didn't have any soft spots anyway so you know the, the idea here is to mix thoroughly my product uh, that I'm using right now says to mix for uh, five minutes and uh, that's that's what I'm doing so I'm about to uh, start adding the color and for this one here I'm gonna start with a, a base of uh, white you know, it's uh, it's it's one of those uh, you know, nice nice basic uh, you know type of uh, format, and uh, you know I'm just looking to make sure that I've I've definitely you know mixed this thing. Uh, Want to make sure that I have enough white, even though I am pouring on a white board, um, because that's what the rest of the colors are gonna you know, bounce off of. So I'm using my eighth inch by eighth inch square notch trawl to uh, spread the product out. And uh, I clean up the uh, trowel with my brush to help load it up so it doesn't take uh, you know, too much uh, epoxy in on its own. And I make sure I cover the edges because I want this to flow. And uh, if it runs into a dry spot, it could actually flow around the uh, the dry spot and give me an uneven uh, you know coverage and it's important even for the sides now after I do that I, I chop my uh, my surface and I'm gonna start adding my uh, my veins uh, what I'm looking for is uh, as a rule when I start I, I start with uh, um, you know with with black but in this this time I, I want to put a little extra base coat underneath so I'm spraying it with copper and gold uh, metallics in a, in a mist form and then I'm hitting it heavy with a, uh, uh, the silver then I'm gonna take a, a card and just chop it up I, I don't want this you know the, the standard effect of the, uh, the the divots and I just want a, a little background then when I start to put the paint down you know it's uh, putting it over the top of the uh, the background that I set and I tend to start with black and white but I'll be using blue and uh, uh, both uh, a, uh, a lagoon blue and a seaside blue uh, sage green dark gray white black you know just and, and some bronze just to, you know put put a, a few different colors in um, and, and and until I put heat to it, it the the whole uh, the the whole uh, effect is 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 pretty much just in 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 as I I laid it. So I just uh, know that it's going to look different once I hit it with a torch, and uh, um, and there's I I don't think I've perfected this technique yet, uh, but. Uh, you know, you, I keep doing it, and I and I see that you know there's there's areas where it's like, hey, this this is a really nice, uh, not nice effect. So realizing uh, this is a pastel, maybe I shouldn't have had so much dark in there. Um, so, and as you can see, hitting it with the torch, um, it started it started to flow. Um, interesting, you know, it's pouring off the backside, and then. That, that front line is actually being pushed away. I augmented it with a little extra blue um, and uh, it uh, I, I think it kind of stands on its own but uh, but this was a uh, a great little project to uh, to, to work with. Um, it's fun it's it, it's going to appeal to somebody. Anyway so I'm going to say this one's in the can 
and I'm done. This is uh, Pops McGee signing out and uh, catch you on the uh, flip side.